Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have discussed how to detect or identify the loops from the three address code. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss various loop optimization techniques are there such as frequency reduction, we have loop unrolling, loop jamming. So all these three techniques I will discuss. These three techniques will come in the loop optimization where loop optimization will come in the category called mission independent code optimization. I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss about the frequency reduction with a simple example so that you will understand the process also. Okay, let's take that you have a for loop for i is equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus and you have an instruction called some d is equal to a by b plus i instruction is there. Now if you look at it, a value and b value or let's take that a is equal to 2, b is equal to some 6 or something. Okay, some value is there. We are not worrying what is that value. Now what is happening? Every time in the loop, when our initial i is equal to 0, the condition is satisfied, you need to execute the statements which are there in the loop. Then what you will do? d is equal to a by b, meaning is the 2 by 6 you will calculate plus i value 0. That will be the d value. Okay, then next time i is equal to 1. Okay, here you are writing the statement called print of percentage d. Are you able to understand? You have a statement after this d, print of percentage d is there. Okay, means here only before the loop ending. Next time i value will be 1. Again the condition is true. d is equal to a by b plus i. Let me write the print of statement also to avoid the confusion. Print of percentage d, d is there. Okay, are you able to understand? Now again i value is 1, the condition is true, again d is equal to 2 by 6 plus 1, that value will be printed. Again i value will be incremented next time, i value will be 2. Now what is happening? Every time you are computing a by b, am I right or wrong? Now a by b you have to perform the division between the a and b value. Now if you look at it in every iteration, whether the a value and b value are changing, no these values are not changing. So instead of every time computing the a by b inside the loop, outside the loop, you compute some c is equal to a by b and here you can write d is equal to c plus i. Am I right or wrong? So this instruction which is running in the high frequency, if you are going moving to the low frequency range, meaning is that if you are performing a by b every time, then you are executing this a by b every time. Instead of that one, outside the loop you compute because a and b value are not changing, then a by b value will also not change. That value you compute outside the loop one time and reuse it for the 10 times. Is it clear? Whether this is better or previous one is better. Obviously, you will agree that this way of writing the code is better. So, this is one of the loop optimization. We will call it as a frequency reduction. I hope you have understood what is meant by frequency reduction. Now let me discuss about the next loop optimization technique called loop unrolling. Loop unrolling. This is one of the loop optimization technique. Let me discuss with a simple example. You have an array. Okay, array A is there. You have written while i is greater than less than 10 okay a of i is equal to 0 then you have written i plus plus now what is the meaning you are doing you are initializing the all the elements in the array to 0 this is okay your program is correct now can i reduce this code meaning is that how many times this loop is running for 10 times the loop is running if i value is 0 this program is running for the 10 times. Am I right? This loop is running for the 10 times. Will you agree with me or not? Yes, you will agree. Now, if you see that one, 
can I reduce the number of times this loop is running? It is running initially for 10 times. Okay. Can I reduce the number of times this loop is running? Yes, we will look at how can we reduce. While i less than 10, okay, a of i is equal to 0, i plus plus, again I will write a of i is equal to 0, i plus plus. Now what will happen? You look at initially i value is 0. The condition is true. Okay, so it will come inside the while loop a of i a of 0 a of 0 will be 0 i plus plus now i value will be incremented now a of i a of i means a of 1 a of 1 is equal to 0 then i plus plus now i value will be 2 again the con control will go to the checking of the condition am I right? 2 is less than 10 again it will come now a of 2 is equal to 0 a of 3 is equal to 0 now i value will be updated to 4 now how many times this loop will run this loop will run only 5 times whereas previously the same steps is running for the 10 times now you can ask me the question sir can I reduce further the number of times the loop is running yes you can try it okay I hope you have understood here we have reduced the number of times the loop is running. So some people will say that sir while i is less than 10 okay sorry while i is less than 10 initially i value is 0 okay instead of writing 2 times I will write 3 times let us see what will happen a of i is equal to 0 i plus plus a of i is equal to 0 i plus plus a of i is equal to 0 i plus plus then can anyone tell me what is the problem with this one whether this one and this one is same or not you tell me now this one will run for a of 0 to what a of 9 am i right means it running for 10 times now if you look at it how many times it will run initially i value is 0 0 is less than 10 a value a of 0 is initialized to 0 then a of 1 is 0 a of 2 is 0 now i value will be 3 am i right because after a of 2 is 0 you are incrementing the i value now i value is 3 3 is less than 10 so a of 3 is equal to 0 a of 4 is equal to 0 a of 5 is equal to 0 now i value will become 6 Again 6 is less than 10, now a of 6 is equal to 0, a of 7 is 0, a of 8 is 0, now i value will become 9. Now again 9 is less than 10, now what will happen, a of 9 is 0, a of 10 is 0, a of 11 is 0, now i value will be updated to 12, 12 is greater than 10, not less than 10. This condition is failed so it will come out from this while loop now check it what is the problem here we want to initialize from a of 0 to a of 9 to 0 but here when we change it like this it was running up to a of 11 so like this we should not do either you can write a of i is equal to 0 a of i is equal to 0 and like this you can write or another way you can write it is that can you tell me another right way Yes, by this time you would have guessed i value is equal to 0 while i less than 10, okay, a of i is equal to 0, i plus plus, a of i is equal to 0, i plus plus, a of i is equal to 0, i plus plus, like that I will repeat for 5 times a of let me write here a of i is equal to 0 i plus plus a of i is equal to 0 i plus plus i am exiting now if you look at this loop is running for 10 times but the same work is done by this loop which is running for only two times so we are reducing the number of times the loop is running is it clear are you able to understand this kind of procedure we will call it as a loop unrolling which comes in the loop optimization technique 
Now let me discuss one more important loop optimization which is loop jamming, okay? Loop jamming. Usually we will write this kind of statements in the whenever C programming whenever we are doing with the arrays. Usually if I want to scan the elements in the array, I will write for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, I will write a statement called scan of percent %sd ampersand, okay, are you able to understand ampersand a of i, am I right or wrong, this is my scan of statement and immediately if I want to print the values which are there in the array, I will write for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, I will write print of percent is d a of y. I don't know how many members have written these kind of programs. Usually everyone in the first year whenever you are doing the C programming in the array concept you will do this one. Am I right? Meaning is that you are taking the input from the user and storing those values in the array and again you are printing. Now can we optimize this code? Are you able to understand how many loops are there here? two loops are there. Can we reduce the number of loops? Are you able to understand? Those who know already the C programming, they can easily say that, sir, in my first year itself, I have done like this. Let me check it. What you would have written for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, then people would have written directly scan of percent %sd ampersand a of i Instead of writing another loop, they would have directly written that print of percentage %d a of i. Whether tell me whether this code is correct or wrong. Yes, this code is correct and also whatever this code is doing, it is also doing the same thing. But we have optimized the code here because here in this program, we have two for loops. Here we have only one for loop. So in the S1, we have reduced the number of loops. Are you able to understand if we reduce the number of loops also we can say that loop optimization. So I hope you have understood various loop optimization techniques such as uh, loop jamming, loop unrolling and frequency reduction. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.